In this video, we're going to take a look at both complete and incomplete combustion reactions with various different hydrocarbons. So let's start with complete combustion. If you have a hydrocarbon and you react it in the presence of oxygen, so usually what happens is we take these hydrocarbons and with a Bunsen burner, if I can draw a flame here, <laughs> We take the, the hydrocarbon here and we burn it in a flame and that's uh, reacting it with oxygen. And what'll be produced off of that is carbon dioxide as well as water. So carbon dioxide and water are our two main products in a complete combustion. Now you can react both alkanes, alkenes and alkynes, but you can also do this with alcohols as well. So really the reaction looks the same and these are just three examples of different complete combustion reactions. They get balanced based on um, our balancing procedures when we go and, and create these reactions. Uh, it creates carbon dioxide gas and liquid water. Uh, so some water vapor, which condenses back into uh, liquid. So uh, you can see for C8H18, for C6H12, as well as for C4H9OH, uh, the products are all the same. It's just the balancing that's different in these particular reactions. Next up is incomplete combustion. Now, incomplete combustion happens because the oxygen supply, so the O2 supply is limited. So it becomes the limiting reactant in this reaction. And when it's limiting, a hydrocarbon will undergo incomplete combustion. So it's going to form either carbon monoxide or just pure carbon if it's really, really limited in oxygen or more likely it will be a combination of both of these as well as water. Uh, these waters should be liquid actually. Um, so you can see here for the incomplete combustion of propane, if you have seven moles of water to two moles of propane, you'll create carbon monoxide. But if you have even less, so like a one to two ratio, between the propane and the oxygen, you're creating pure carbon. But like I said, with most incomplete combustions, it's not exactly these reactions, but it's kind of a combination of these two together. So you're gonna create carbon monoxide gas, carbon, as well as water. And so that is both complete and incomplete combustion. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.